but we will not allow. If we are not allowed to participate in this August House, we are going to hit the street. In fact, which we don't want to go to the street as legislator. But since we are not allowed, this is a serious issue. It has affected this part of the region. So we want to discuss as responsible members of the House, how do we go about this serious issue? So this is what we want. This is anti-people, undemocratic, the first time ever in the Megali Legislative Assembly. And it is an attempt on the part of the government to run away from the responsibility. That is what I want to say. One so and half day, one and a half day of private members. Just two days, imagine. And that also, we have been restricted as member, allotted with 10 minutes time. How do we express our suggestion points in 10 minutes time in a debate on governors? And how do we express our points and suggestion, say, in 10 minutes on budget discussion? Better not to call the assembly at all if they don't have any issue. As members of the ruling, we have, I mean, as members of the opposition, we've got a lot of issues. People, they are looking to us. They are, every time they are calling, they are giving us information how to take up. But you, you have seen how they run the house. So this is uh, too much on the part of the government. We will not sit idle. So we the, will not, you know, allow this kind of uh, tactics to be adopted in the legal legislative assembly. So with the BPP, move a no confidence motion against You see, I think there's another way of protesting, you know, uh, because we know that the people are eagerly awaiting for us to take up this issue. It has bad affected, it has a huge impact on the educated, on the youth of this region. So we want to raise in this platform. We know that is this issue is very sensitive, and as a responsible leader, we know how to raise this issue. Which issue to touch and which not to touch, no? So, coming to this roster system, don't you think you should uh, file a case uh, in the High Court because it is a High Court decision? Order. No, you see, the government cannot be selective. The government cannot be selective. If they really want to follow all High Court's direction, they should follow all the directive of the High Court. They should not be selective only in one particular issue. High Court has intervened in many areas and has given directives